This is Sam Amatriano, and I'm working at Volvo's in the Department of Pre-Sales Engineering. Today, we are going to try to explain you a solution for those customers that want to have internet in a basement, in a floor that, for example, where you cannot reach internet. It's very easy, and um, there is a device that's called Powerline Communicator, PLC, that what it does is to have two devices that connect each other through the grid. One of those had to be connected at home to our normal router, and the other one would be supplying Wi-Fi in your location. You have to place that device in your fuse box. That fuse box, they have a socket, it will be receiving all the information from your home and then all the internet will be through on that. So follow me, I'm going to explain you a bit deeper on that and you will see that's so easy and it will solve you a lot of problems for the future. Here we have three devices. One is the router and the other two are the connector that's PLC in order to have the internet and the second one would be the pair of the PLC that will be in this case through Wi-Fi. That for me, I think is the best option to have internet for our Volvox. So how it works? We get this cable here that will connect directly from the small device that they have just one entry. And we will connect here in the down part. I'm gonna show you here. Oh, we have the lines. In this case will be this part. Once we connect this cable that will be here, we will connect the second one, that's the other terminal, to the part of the charger here. So let's go through the same. Okay, perfect. Now this is connected to the router and it will give like, you know, typical internet that goes to any device in the in the home once we connect this uh, router to the you know um grid of internet we will put the other part in just another socket here at home why because clicking both we can connect it to them and we had to pair them to for them in order to know which one how to talk it here, once we connect the internet, we have to push this button, that spur, and the other side also with spur. That's the way to do it. Let's go do it. Now, now it's time to connect to the grid those devices in our location, because it will be easier than doing down in the parking for the pairing. Let's go do it now. Go with the first one, we connect to internet. Sorry, for the grid. And here it's how it's going to be the device and then the other device to the other place that is right here. Just put it nearby because it's closer for us to connect it. Perfect. Now we need to pair them. How do we pair them? Okay, we go again to the device and we push for the button for second. And now they saw another thing here that's spurring the device. Here we see it. I had this thing before pair, so usually you have to push the button below here. Okay, that's spurring, but they're talking already with them. So now we have internet in our devices between them, at least communication. Now we have to go in our parking and do the proper. Wallbox provides you a fuse box with all the protections and also the shuko. So what are those protections? Ones are the main ones for the EV charger and the other ones are for the, in that case, the shuko. So you can have both protections separately included in a nice uh, design. We connect the second device PLC to the shuko to establish the communication and have finally Wi-Fi here. So now we wait until the connection is established between those devices that are part way one each other. Actually in here is around 50 meters. And yeah, it's almost there. Yeah, perfect. So we have now established the communication. Now we have internet there with no problem at all. Let's now give internet to the charger through Wi-Fi. Let's try now to check 
how is the speed here in our basement. So as much as faster it goes, better for us, very good to check. This is the design of our installation from the top to down, from the home up to the parking where I have a very long distance, more than 50 meters and as much longer as the distance and you have more devices connected to the grid, the internet will be uh, less powerful as it will be the main all the time. Let's try to check through a My Wallbox portal if we have internet. Well, we can establish in our charger that effectively we have internet. We have the power bus connected in real time. We can see if it's locked or not locked. So yeah, this device work and it's working perfectly for our solution. So please don't hesitate to plan this thing to your installation if you don't have internet. <laughs>